Hi, I'm Charlotte Lawson, a registered licensed dietitian here in Tampa Bay, Florida. You might be looking for some information on the glycemic index, or looking for a calculation, therefore, to determine the glycemic index of a food. Well, don't get this confused with glycemic load. The glycemic index is actually already predetermined by scientists, and this has um, each food has a different glycemic index score in its relevance against just glucose and how it affects our blood sugar levels. So there's a glycemic index chart, which you'll probably easily find online. Now the glycemic load kind of determines whether or not that food is on the high end or the low end of how it's going to affect your blood glucose levels. Now to determine the load, you need to know the food's glycemic index score. So therefore you have to go back and find your chart, look up that food. Now once you've found the index score, you can now look at the nutrition facts label and see how many carbohydrates there are per serving of that food. So you take the GI, or the glycemic index number, multiply it by the number of carbohydrates there are per serving, then divide that number by 100. This is your glycemic load, or again, how much it would affect your blood sugar. That's just a little bit of information on the glycemic index, and make sure to find that chart online. I'm Charlotte, and eat happy.